you run, you run, you run for your life. And yet being captured again, being seized again, being preyed on again, it seemed like every avenue of escape only led me to slavery. I was born in 1982 in Seattle, Washington. When I was three years old, I was taken to Alaska with a registered sex offender. When I was eight years old, the man I thought was my father OD'd. When I was 13, I began living on the streets and experiencing frequent sexual exploitation. At 26 years old, I overdosed and was at my lowest point. Writing just came very naturally to me. I would experience trauma and I would write. And as far as I knew, those were the two most fundamental aspects of my life. I didn't correlate the two for a very long time. In October of 2012, I was in a van with my boyfriend and his friend, and I heard them discussing that I had been sold for $50,000. The driver was laughing at me and mocking me and tell me that he was gonna buy a truck with the money. And I said, let me out right now or I will jump out of this vehicle. Every event that had happened in my life really led me to that point. And it, it just, it, it became apparent to me. There's no more coming and going from exploitation. And he finally pulled over and I began running like a lamb running from slaughter. And it was just get out and do not look back. In the past I'd, I'd escaped and I tried to escape. I always fell back in, not having proper trauma care and not having proper resources. And the fact that art, and for me specifically writing, has served as a literal lifeline for me. At the end of the day, my goal is to help survivors to find their own voices, their own mediums, their own stories, their own meanings. I believe that there are two forces that are actually going to put a dent in the pandemic of sex trafficking, art and survivors. That is what I can speak to and for and with.